Good morning, folks. Satellite had a bit of the jitters jostling there. Despite the sun's current silent state, we've got space weather news and more. Let's begin at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day on our star quiet once again. Coronal hole on the south trying to extend up away from the polar region. Absolutely no sunspots. The solar wind is worth checking because those cosmic ray spikes are back at the right. Not real solar wind readings, but heavier cosmic ray nuclei whacking the detector. What is real is the giant winged intruder into our field of view on Soho from the right. That is Venus and the brightness reflection is causing oversaturation wings out the side. Mercury should be coming in from the left side within 48 hours. On to the weather where we've got a major heat wave in Egypt. Hospitals seeing the surge in patients from the effects and there is no end in sight there. Meanwhile in the US where the jet stream has looked like this, driving hot temperatures ascending from the south, it is going to change and bend into the Appalachians this weekend, driving harder south next week and expected to bring a very unseasonable cold snap to the eastern half of the country. Quick note here, they say this extinct volcano isn't extinct. There's a ton of churning magma beneath it. And then they take the panic damping to a whole new level and assure everyone they don't know if this could ever erupt again. Like, what's the point of the article? Anyway, interesting news in nature. It's possible that all fast radio bursts are repeaters. If that is the case, no collisions, mergers, explosions, or other one-off events could be responsible. We do discuss this topic often on the weekend podcasts. Up next, we take a peek back at the major solar flare of 2017, and it turns out they more than doubled the record detection of magnetic field strength in the corona. Records are great, but the key is the necessity for magnetic power to make a flare. And speaking of flares, one researcher is forecasting the flare levels in cycle 25 rather than forecasting sunspots, and while they do predict a descent in the upcoming cycles like everyone else on the internet, they blame the planets. And that's always a good way to get our attention. We've seen so many papers on this. I have many old books on the topic. And indeed, website members, this is why we check the planets every single month. Quick, pretty look at the magnetohydrodynamic simulation of a massive magnetic star. This paper uses a lot of the newer information on plasma and magnetic fields, big check mark there, and is now trying to find the sweet spot where their inputs spit out something close to reality. Up next, it's time to pick on dark matter, but at least this time, the targets deserve it. The targets are not the authors of this paper. These scientists are debunking the cosine annual modulation, saying it is not dark matter and not a modulation but background noise. My initial comment was because those original discoverers of this fake modulation are grasping to it like a kid and his teddy in a thunderstorm. They keep pushing it even though dozens have already debunked it. Last but not least, we have a paper proclaiming to resolve Hubble tensions by breaching the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model. Admittedly, he says the model is infant, still doesn't produce some things as well as the mainstream, but in reading it, I saw hints of plasma cosmology, and at first, I couldn't tell if this guy was insane or a plasma universe wizard. I was hoping for the latter, and I was right. The guy works at the Oscar Klein Center in Stockholm, Sweden. Look up top of the page. That's where Hannes Alfein and Anthony Peratt did their thing. And the predecessor to the current plasma cosmology was called Alfein Klein Cosmology. Yeah, that Klein, which makes me think maybe he's not so insane after all. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.